Hey, what's up everyone? So in today's episode, we're going to start using Python as our main programming language with Arduino, like the Arduino Nano, to create some cool projects. In this case, we are going to control the volume of the computer by rotating this potentiometer. As you can see, we can adjust the volume. I can set it to 100% or put it in the middle. So you will learn how to use the potentiometer and read the inputs from an analog pin. And that's just one example. Later on, we can use the joystick which is like two potentiometers to control the mouse cursor or we can create a gamepad but that's the topic of another video if you want me to make the project make sure to write that under the comment section down below and without any further ado let's dive right in so to make this project you're gonna need an arduino board like the arduino nano and one potentiometer so that we can adjust the volume of the computer but we can do that using the arduino code we are going to use python which is one of the popular and greatest programming languages. I've already installed the Python version 3.11. If you haven't watched that video, make sure to check it out. If you already have Python installed, as well as the PyCharm IDE, you can follow along, because you have to upload a sketch that you can get from a library that is called Fermata. Make sure to use the first one by Fermata developers. Then we can open it up by going to File, Examples. Here we have Fermata. And we want to use the standard Fermata protocol, which is a generic protocol for communicating with microcontrollers. In this case, it is an Arduino Nano and a software, which is Python code. We simply have to select the board and the port of the USB cable. In my case, it is COM3. And let's search for Arduino Nano. I've already done this step in the last episode. I'm going to close the Arduino IDE. We don't need it anymore. We could use Python to program our microcontroller. In the last episode, we've created the Blink sketch to turn the LED on and off. Let's create a brand new project by going to File, New Project. For the name, I will use Arduino Volume Control. Here we have the Python version 3.11. And let's hit Create. When you open up a new project, you will see this main.py file and the sample code. I'm going to get rid of it using Ctrl A and Return. First of all, we have to install the PyFermata package by going to File, Settings, and under the project name, Python Interpreter, we have all of the packages. Let's add a new one and search for PyFermata. Make sure to select the third option, PyFermata2, that we use with Arduino boards, and install the package. And let's get back to the code. I'm going to start by importing the package using import and the name PyFermata2. Then we have to create an Arduino object so that we can communicate with the Arduino microcontroller by adding a name like board equals we add pyfermata2 dot and we have this Arduino class to create it. This takes in one parameter and it is the name of the port. In my case it is COM3. In Python we don't have the loop function. We have to create a while loop using while true. And all of the lines of code that we write under here will be called over and over again. I'm going to stick with that. And let's move on to the circuit. We have to connect the potentiometer so that we can read its voltage and control the volume later on. Basically, it has three leads. We need to connect one lead on the left side to the 5 volt pin and the other one to the ground so that we can create the circuit. Then we're going to read the voltage from the uh, middle lead. We have to connect the middle one to one of the analog pins, like A5, which changes whenever we rotate the knob of the potentiometer. I'm going to take one of these wires, but first let's fix it on the breadboard like this, and connect one lead, like the right one, to the 5 volt pin. The left lead goes to the ground. Finally, we connect the middle lead to one of the analog pins, like A5. You see, it's really simple. Now let's test it and print the value using the terminal window. To achieve that in Python, we have to add another extra object that is called an iterator, which is used to continuously read from the Arduino microcontroller. In this case, we're going to read the voltage. So I'm going to write an object and call it it for iterator equals. To create it, we add pyfermata2 dot util. Then we have dot iterator that takes in the board object so that we can continuously read from it. Next, we have to start it using it.start. In our last episode, we haven't used these lines of code. 
because we have control the LED, we can turn it on and off. But if you want to read uh, an input from the potentiometer or other devices like the joystick, you have to add these two lines of code. Anyways, let's create the pin and call it a read pin as an example, or you could call it potentiometer pin equals, and we have this method board dot get pin to get the pin. This method takes some kind of pin definition because we have to tell it about the pin that we are using and whether we want to use it as an input or output. First, we add A for analog pins and D for digital. Here we have an analog pin, then colon, and the pin number. So we have the analog pin A5. And finally, whether we want to use it as an input, output. Also, we have PWM. If you want to read more information about this method, you can hold down Control and press it. These are the parameters, A for analog, D for digital, then we have the pin number. Finally, we have different options like I for input, O for output. In our next videos, we are going to control servos, so we have to pass in S for servo. So let's get back to the code and add I for input. I'm going to add a few extra lines so that we can see the code much better. Under the while loop, we can read the voltage using our object read pin. So I'm going to create a variable that is called value equals and we have this read pen dot read function to read the value to check if it works I'm going to print it using the print command and pass in the value variable to run this code we have this button on top that is called run main we've talked about this error in the last episode it is related to the python version that we are using to fix it we have to press this link and change the line of code that is called inspect.getArgs to get full args. Or you could install an older version like Python 3.10. And let's give it another try. You see it's a little bit fast. We can add a delay using the uh, time package. Import time. Under the loop, I will add time.sleep so that we can wait for a second. And try it out again. You notice that the first value is none. We are going to fix that later on. And let's try to rotate it again. Here we have uh, 0.5. The knob is in the middle. So it is working perfectly. Let's move on to the main topic of our video, which is creating a volume controller. And to do it, we are going to use another library that I found on the internet. And it is called PyCall. We can use it to change the volume of the computer. And we have a sample code. Let's copy it using right click copy and try to adjust it so that we can create our project. I will use Ctrl V. If you get these errors, don't worry. These are libraries or packages that are not installed in our computer. To fix it, you could install it from the packages window or we can hover over it and we have the option install to install it. And there you go. The same thing applies for the PyCo library and hit yes. After that, they have created this device object to get the speakers, then they have created the volume object so that we can adjust it by using these commands like volume.getMute to mute the sounds. Also, we can find the range of the volume. But most importantly, we have the method setMasterVolumeLevel to set the volume using our value that we read from the potentiometer. So I will get rid of these lines of code. We don't need them. On top, we have to import the libraries and add these objects but we will take this volume.setMasterVolumeLevel method and use it under the while function. So each time we are going to read the value and pass it in so that we can actually adjust the volume. The only problem with this is that this method takes in a value between minus uh, 37 and 0. So it's a little bit tricky. 0 is the maximum volume, which is 100, and minus 37 is the minimum, which is 0. If we want to set it to 50%, we have to take in the middle, which is about minus 18. Luckily, our value is a float between 0 and 1. So to adjust it to be between 0 and minus 37, we multiply it by minus 37. And let's try it out. If you have noticed it at the beginning of the video, the first value that we've got is none. That's why we've got this error, because we can't multiply none by an integer like 37. To fix it, we can add another if statement to check whether we have a value equals none. We are not going to run this line of code. So let's use if. And then we have a condition, which is value. If it's not none, 
In such case, we are going to run the line of code to set it and try it again. And yep, we didn't have errors. Let me check if we can adjust the volume by rotating the knob. So you see it is changing. Now it is 100%. It is a little bit slow because we have added uh, the sleep method to wait for one second. To mute it, we can rotate it all the way to the right side. So I think that's pretty much it guys for this video. If you have any question or comment about this project, make sure to write it under the comment section down below. And I will see you in the next one.